Hey gals and guys, it's Crystal Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com and this time out we're just going to do something very simple, a very easy recipe. It's basically just spaghetti squash. It's spaghetti without noodles. Um, if you saw the last video that I posted, or maybe I'm posting this one first, either or, I'm not really sure yet. Um, I just made some um, vegan lasagna, so there was no type of dairy products in it. It was all just vegetables, basically, and, and spices, that's all it was. I used um, an eggplant to uh, for the noodles instead of using and using actual noodles. Uh, save yourself a little weight, and it's good for uh, weight loss and stuff like that. So this time out, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a spaghetti squash. I bought these; um, they're kind of pricey. I'm sure you can make them. I only bought one bag. You don't get very many of them. I think it was five, six bucks. Um, these are meatballs, meatless meatballs. Um, again, kind of pricey. Uh, Parmesan, uh, not real cheese, just kind of uh, fake Parmesan cheese. Uh, but all that stuff, all that non-dairy, um, you know, if it's good for you, it seems to be expensive, right? Um, this wasn't so expensive, and then the jar of sauce wasn't so expensive. This is just tomato, basil, and garlic um, sauce. So that'll be on top with the meatballs and the Parmesan. It's really easy to do. Uh, what I need is some type of lubricant for the <laughs> some type of lubricant for my squash here. So, um, so my lady friend is um, she doesn't eat cheese. I'm pretty sure she doesn't eat butter. Normally I would um, rub this with butter, but um, the insides. But I'm just going to use vegetable oil, which is which is fine. You just want to get it cooked up in nice. A little brown and cooked up so it, it peels like spaghetti. If you've never used spaghetti squash, there's a reason why it's called that, and I'll show you exactly why if you've never happened to see it. So what you want to do is cut this right in the center. Get yourself a sharp knife. Um, hopefully this is sharp enough. And let's see what happens. It's like pump. It's like a pumpkin carving kind of sort of. It is exactly like pumpkin carving. Pumpkin pumpkin. I swear to God, I have there's no alcohol in me. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a hundred percent even. Um, you want to cook kind of both sides um, through, so that's why you kind of want to aim towards cutting it in half. But it doesn't have to be totally perfect. I am not. I have not attended the culinary arts. I am not a chef. I'm just some weird IT guy that happens to like to cook and, and knows enough, as they say, to be dangerous. So I'm just going to be happy if this thing is cut and I still have 10 fingers and 10 toes. So we're almost there. Right, I don't want to split it or anything. You can just kind of work your way around it. You're probably better at this than I am. I just don't want to split it, that's all. Oh. Oh, oh. There we go. All right, almost perfect. Almost perfect. All right, so let's get a spoon. Get your trash. And just like a pumpkin, you're doing exactly like you do a pumpkin. You're scraping out all the seeds. And I'm sure you could, just like a pumpkin, I'm sure you could take those seeds and um, use them as a snack, put salt on them, and put them in the, the oven, just like you would pumpkin seeds. I don't know. I never tried that. Uh, I'm not going to do it this time out either. Just try to get all the gook out. So all this stuff you want to get out. Get all this gook, just like a pumpkin. Get all the gook and all the seeds out. <laughs> Now, I couldn't find a, a big tray, so I found, this is not my house, this is my Gale Pals house. Um, I found a couple of these, so I'm just going to throw them on there. Or just put some, just put some aluminum foil down, but, uh, or just get a cookie sheet, put some aluminum foil over it. And then uh, I'm going to rub it with some vegetable oil, so I'm just going to put like a little bit. Maybe like a teaspoon, maybe not even a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, maybe? I mean, use your best judgment. And then you're just going to rub it around. It's just going to get it nice and brown, that's all. And get it cooking. Um, I'm going to do a little more. 
not too much, but I'd say a, I'd say like a teaspoon. Get it all on the sides. You don't have to do this because you're not you're gonna throw this away unless you eat it. I mean that's up to you, but <laughs> I'm not eating that part. And then uh, yeah, it's kind of gets going into the the cracks and stuff. So maybe two tablespoons. Okay, now it's now it's good. Now it's good. You just want to get it here. If you have access, just yeah, see now I got a little access. So if you got access, just dump it in the sink. Yeah. There, perfect. All right, so we want to cook these up. Probably take about 45 minutes an hour. Uh, about 425, 450. Just keep an eye on it. First half an hour, you're safe. Um, then check 45 minutes, check an hour. I mean, I'd check every 15 minutes regardless. But uh, just keep an eye on it. Obviously, you don't want to burn it. So I'm going to start the oven up at uh, 450. I'll put these in for a half an hour. I'm going to take a look at them. And uh, we'll take it from there. So let me show you here. Ooh. Get your glove on. Getting hot. And what you want to do is... Off. <laughs> it's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Just kind of want to see how it's doing. You see how it's kind of ripping apart now? It's doing pretty good. This one, not so much. So I'm going to leave it in for a little bit more. But that's doing good. It's not burning or anything. So I'm going to do another 15 minutes. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start tearing apart just like spaghetti. Yeah, baby. You ready for this? This is the fun part. I'm just going to make sure I get um, some coach to see it. Should be that couple hot pads going here. All right. Let's bring them on out. and steamy. So for this video, this is the, the spaghetti squash that I'm making. So I'm also at the same time, I'm going to be putting in um, the lasagna. So it's already preheated at 4, 425 for the lasagna. And it's going to go in there for 45 minutes an hour. Got it all. It's all in tin foil um, with a pan. So that goes next. And this is the fun part for this. So just be careful with the pans. And we're just going to start scraping it. I don't know if I really need this. Just kind of be careful. Just take your fork and just string it like that. And this is what, let me show you what it's going to look like. It's nice and hot. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like spaghetti. Like, kind of like noodles. Like spaghetti noodles. And then go On the floor there. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. And we're just getting we're getting rid of the rind. It's still quite warm. You could like leave it out for a bit before you do this. So just like just like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. All right, and to finish it up, just put some squash there. We got some of the meatballs. Now, the meatballs, you can cook them in the microwave. There's no meat involved in the meatballs. They're meatless meatballs, so put them in the microwave, put them in the oven, put them on top of the stove. However you want to heat them up is fine. 
And same with it. I'm just doing it out of the jar, but you can mix all together. Just put that on top like that. It's delicious stuff. Spaghetti splash is good on its own. You don't necessarily need anything on top of it. But, you know, if you want a cool presentation, I guess you can go ahead and uh, there's your uh, spaghetti squash and meatballs, guys and gals. I appreciate you as always. If you could please subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. And please like this video if you liked it. And please share this with people that like to eat. And uh, hit the bell for updates. And um, I will talk to you later. Peace out.